Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahabshah, Bashim, Akakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there that's preaching this word of truth and sincerity. And shalom to the elect in the tabernacle of David. Scattered abroad. I'm going to say shalom. Let's get into it. I saw this post on social media. All right, it says all lives matter. It's about grace, not race. Yellow, black, and white. We all precious in his sight. <laughs> really, what this boils down to is Esau Edom, who is the so called white man, does not want to pay for all his crimes that he has done to the children of Israel. All right. Him and all the other nations gathering together, he, they do not want to pay for what they have done to the children of Israel. We can get that in um, the Apocrypha, 1 Maccabees 2 and 10. All right. Because they have taken us down. They have gotten rich off of us. All right. They have lived deliciously. Okay. And at the end of the day, so they make these posts. <laughs> they make these posts out and say that Yahweh Shem Shah loves everybody, which is not the case. Now, with our people scattered abroad, which I'll get that too, Lord willing. Our people scattered abroad, you know, um, Jeremiah 12 and 9, our heritage is as a speckled bird, all right? That's because our people has been scattered through the four corners of the earth, mixing and mingling with all these other nations, all right? Those Israelites that look like other nations, all right, the speckled bird, that's who Yahweh Shem Shah loves. But as you other nations, <laughs> the Most High doesn't care about you, all right? You guys are just our whipping stick to keep us in order, all right, for us to learn a lesson. And that's why you guys are over us. But it's going to come a time where we're going to be over you guys, all right? And that time is very, very soon, okay? It's 1st Maccabees 2 and 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten her spoils? All right, what nation? All these nations, all right? Let's go to Psalms 83. Bear with me one second. Psalms 83 and, and once again, like I said, it's Esau, Edom, and the other nations. They don't want to pay for what they have done to the children of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Haitians, all right, and the uh, and our people scattered abroad that look like the other nations, all right, whose seed line goes back to Israel. All right, this is Psalms 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. All right. All of our enemies can come together. And they have and they hate Salakia. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. <laughs> It goes with just what I was saying, man. These other nations don't want to pay for what they have done. They have come together. They have consulted together. All right. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right. <laughs> so they want to say everybody's equal, especially the so-called white man. All right, he wants to say everybody's equal, but he's the top dog. He's the top mountain. All right, that's what he really says in his heart. All right. Verse five, for they have consulted together with one consent. All right, because all these nations came together. 
They seen the power of Israel. All right. They are confederate against the, the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites, Moab, the Hagarenes. And you read on and on. All right. Who's the top of that list? That's Esau, Edom. All right. Moab, Hagarenes, you know, Africans. Uh, Moab, the Chinese, Ishmaelites, uh, the so-called Ar Arabs. All right. These people have came together. As you read down, these people have came together to blot us out of existence. So they got to pay for that, man. All right. They got to pay for that. Matter of fact, let's get uh, Revelation 13, 10. You can just pretty much end on that, man. The Lord does not care about you heathens, man. Y'all going to be slaves in the kingdom. All right. For taking us down, putting us in captivity. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. All right. So the true saints out there, they're having patience. And they're waiting for this time to come. They're waiting for us to pass that cup of slavery onto you Edomites and, and, and you other nations. All right. Once again, man, uh, Most High does not care about you heathens. All right. Matter of fact, let me, let me get this out of the Apocrypha. All right. This is another reason why they took out the Apocrypha. Because it shows plainly that the Lord does not care about you other nations. All right. Second Ezra is 6 and 54. After these, after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we all come of Adam. All right. We all come from the seed line of Adam. And check this. And the people also whom thou have chosen who is that that's the israelites so-called negroes latinos and native americans and our people scattered abroad that look like the other nations that's who yahweh cares about all right all this have i spoken before thee o lord because thou has made us the world for our sakes all right the world is made for our sakes we're supposed to be the ruling class as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. <laughs> All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. All right. You guys are nothing to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Just Israelites whipping stick. But we going to be your whipping stick in the kingdom of heaven when it's established. All right. But be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them Unto a drop that has fallen from fallen from a vessel. That's how much Yah Basim outside looks at you, other nations, man. Just spittle. <laughs> 57. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Once again, showing you that they are just our whipping sticks, man. But we, thy poop people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten and fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world be, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? All right. And we're living in a time where, Lord willing, we of the elect. We'll be able to see our enemies destroyed. All right. And put them into slavery. All right. Once again, this just boils down to these other nations, man. Especially Esau, Edom. Does not want to take account. Does not want to be held accountable for his crimes against the children of Israel. In which they will be held accountable for the children of Israel. Let's get limitations. 4 and 21. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, 
old daughter of Edom. So we telling you, Edomites, you other nations, enjoy your kingdom while you can. Rejoice and be glad. That dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, as us the Israelites. He will no longer carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. So he can't run away. He will discover thy sins. So your sins are being discovered now. All right. You can't run away from your judgment. You can't make these posts and try to have everybody try to come together. Because that's not going to happen, man. All right. Having everybody uh, uh, saying that they all equal. But inside, you know that you want to be the top dog. All right. <laughs> Above everybody else. Which is not true, man. You, you're going to get that cup of slavery. And you're going to know that you how about Shimei Asai. <laughs> he got some bone to pick with you, man. All right. Um, let me see what else I can get. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's get Ezekiel 35. Moreover, the Lord word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. All right, the so-called Edomites. I mean, the so-called white men, which are the Edomites. And prophesied against it and say unto him, unto it, Thus save Yahweh thy power. Behold, O Mount Sir, I am against thee. <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Asai is against you, Edomites, man. All right. He does not love everybody, man. All right. He just loves the people, his, his people, which are the Israelites. All right. I will stretch out my hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate. Does that sound like he, he loves you? No, nah, he, he's going to make you most desolate. Especially in slavery. All right. I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. All right. That's why you're going to be most desolate. The Most High is discovering your sins. All right. This is the controversy of Zion. Y'all took our name. Y'all cast us out for a lot. All right. And y'all just going to get it. All right. It says uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus save Yahweh power. Because the Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus save Yahweh power. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. <laughs> Even your own animals are going to be cut off from you. I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. How are they going to fall by the sword? I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by my hand of my people Israel and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance say if you have power alright does this sound like he loves you nah man he's, he's coming back with great vengeance and great destruction upon you alright that's just plain and simple man to those that can see it Everybody else, they just gonna be blinded and learn the hard way, man. And how about Shim outside ain't dealing with everybody, man? Since I'm in Psalms, let me get Psalms. Um bear with me one second while I turn to it. It's Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob and unto Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel. His statues and judgment unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. All right. You're going to know his judgment in these last days, though. All right. We read it in uh, Amos. I mean, not Amos. Um, Ezekiel. 
All right? You're going to know it in these last days. Y'all about to see me outside ain't playing with you Edomites and other nations, man. Y'all going y'all gonna to be feeling that pain, man. All right? Y'all going to be feeling that pain very soon. Okay? Let's get uh, Amos 3 and 6. Amos 3 at the top of me. Hear this, the word of Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why all these other nations are above us, all right? That's why all these other nations are above us. Let's go back to Revelation, and I'll end it on there. In Revelation 2 and 26. It's Revelation 2 and 20. Let's start at 5. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Hold fast is truth. Don't let up, man. Endure to the end. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right, we're going to have, Lord willing, you of the elect, we're going to have power over the nations. What else, Lord? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as a vessel of the parter shall be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. <laughs> so you other nations going to get it, man. Y'all going to be broken. Broken into shivers. All right. We ain't, we ain't all on the same level, man. The Lord is only dealing with his people, which are the Israelites. And y'all... Y'all just going to go into slavery, man. With that, hopefully that was an edifying lesson. Next time, Lord willing, shall I won't.